My brother has been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and at one time psychosis for three years now. So this has been a, a battle we've been helping him go through for the last three years. He has always been the person to want to find help for himself, but I do really feel like the system has failed him, um, either the system or the state attorneys that aren't taking into consideration that he has a mental illness. Pues yo lo que le quiero pedir a todo el público y a todas las personas que vivieron ese trauma. What I want to ask the public and the people that lugar, had to go through that day at the mall, that I want to completely apologize, a sincere apology to them de mi hijo. from um, coming from me and my son. Les pido disculpas a nombre de mi hijo y les pido perdón a nombre de mi hijo y, and y de parte de mi hijo. And sincere apologies from my heart. Les pido de corazón. From my heart that um, I apologize for any trauma that has happened. He was working, um, he was helping my dad with bills, he always wanted to take care of me and my little sister, he always made sure we had money for snacks, um, he would watch us when my dad was working. Um, so my brother has always been the type of person to take in consideration other people, um, and he would never want to intentionally hurt anyone. I will for sure um, try to find a way for my brother to um, to get the help he needs and being in jail is not the place he should be at to get the, the treatment and the medication he needs. Because one of our biggest concerns right now is that we don't know if he's taking medication, we don't know if they know that his diagnosis, we don't know if he's even like getting the treatment that he needs in there. And by having him there, that they're trying to give him 22 a life in jail for something that they're considering terrorism, uh, giving him that label. I don't, I feel like the system and just failed him completely. I just want people to know that this is like, there's a lot of speculation that, that he, that he just, that he's a bad person and that he's a terrorist and that's not what my brother is. I can tell you who my brother is. If you could see how I see my brother in my, in my eyes, which I still do, he is like the bravest, most sweetest guy in the world and I know the people who know him personally can testify to that because that's who he is. And the person that we see in the news that they're portraying, that is not him. And I really want people to see that mental illness is a real thing and there's a lot of stigma to it that should really be um, be more out there because I feel like a lot of people are misinformed about the whole thing.